Hello everybody. Welcome to another video from Currency Collector Searcher. As you see on your screen here, today we are going to cover the roundup of online uh, currency sales from eBay over the past week or so. Now, something very, very, very important I want to show you here, especially for new to my channel. I want you to, I want you to uh, print this list. I want to give you this list here. I want you to take a snapshot of this because this right here is a comprehensive list of the fancy serial numbers that you will be looking for when you search through your uh, dollar bills. Not just ones, but any denomination. So if you will, go ahead and pause the video, take a snapshot of this, and then you can either um, just use, use the, um, the printout that you print or make another one for yourself. But this is a great list. This is what I use. This is what you can use to, uh, uh, to know what you're looking for and know when you found one, okay? All right, now, um, why $1 bills? Um, $1 bills have the uh, highest profit margin, number one, okay? Um, so that's why I focus primarily on this channel on $1 bills, maybe a few twos here and there, okay? They have the highest profit margin versus the 10s, 20s, 50s, and 100s. Um, and also, you can search for more. If you go to the bank and get $100 worth of bills, if you get $100 bills, you only get one. Uh, if you get $1 bills, you get 100 So you can search for a lot more and have a lot more opportunity uh, to find fancy serial numbers by searching and focusing more on the low denomination notes. I focus more on $1 bills, okay? Finally, the last thing I want to show you, now check this out. I saw a video, I saw a video recently uh, uh, this past week, and it was from 2021. It was two years ago. All right, now here's what I want to show you. I want to show you how fast this industry or, or this um, side hustle is growing. Now, this is a search somebody did for fancy serial numbers on eBay, okay? They did this two years ago. There was only 4,900 results of notes that are available. Keep that number in mind, okay? Now, this is May 31st, I mean, May 23rd, 2021, okay? On eBay, in green is the, the sold amount. There's only 2,200 that sold, okay? Now, fast forward to today, August, uh, August 12th, 2023. Fancy serial numbers, instead of 4,900, there's over 18,000. There's over 18,000 that are currently available on eBay. That's how fast this, this, uh, uh, this side hustle is growing. There's a lot of people getting involved in this. There's a lot of people selling, but there's also a lot more people buying as well, okay? Now, if I go down here and click on sold items, okay? Let me show you this. Two years ago, there was 2,200. Now there's over 5,600 that have sold on eBay in the past 90 days, okay? So if you're not participating in this, you're really missing out on a great opportunity to cash in and make some money on these fancy serial numbers. Now I'm gonna show you some of the more prominent ones over the past few days that sold on eBay, okay? Now, um, let's start with the first one here. This first one here, this is a six of a kind or six in a row. Now, notes that have a higher, um, a higher aesthetically pleasing look to them, like six in a row instead of if they're scattered, they tend to sell for more, all right? Now keep your eyes on the condition of these notes we're gonna go through today, okay? Um, so this one here, this is a six in a row, all right? Ones, ones sell very, very good when they're uh, uh, when there's a lot of them, like sevens, eights, ones, zeros, they sell very, very good. They're very highly collectible, all right? Now, this one uh, is a gem. This is a, a, a brand new bill, um, no wrinkles, no crinkles, pretty well centered. So this one, in this gem mint condition, sold for $80 with 22 bids. Now, that is a very, very nice sale. Six in a row doesn't normally sell for that much. The reason why it did um, I'm sorry, six of a kind doesn't, but the reason why it did is because it's six in a row and also because it's a gem mint condition. So um, very nice sale there. This next one here, this is a binary. Binary means that it only has two numbers. This one has sevens and threes. And sevens also are pretty highly collectible uh, by collectors out there. Now this one also, uh, as the seller noted here, came from a BEP brick. So it came from one of those $1,000 bricks of notes that are wrapped uh, that the bank gets from the uh, from the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. So this one also is in gem mint condition, okay? Um, and this one, uh, in this condition, uh, managed to sell 
with five bids, it sold for $27, okay? Most of these binaries you're gonna find sell for you know, 12 to 15, maybe $20. Uh, but this one here in this gem mint condition uh, did manage to sell for $27 because of that um, and also because, it, um, uh, because it's a, a brand new one from a BEP brick, it's gem mint. So two good sales there, uh, a little higher than normal for those first two bills there, all right? Now, um, I am gonna show you some of those 2013B duplicate star notes here. They've been hot sellers recently, so I'm gonna uh, show you uh, some of these here. Now, check this one out. This one is a near solid with eights. There's seven eights, okay? Six in a row, and then another one there on the end. Now, eights are also very highly collectible by some of the Asian cultures. They love the number seven, and they also love the number eight. So not only are people in the U.S. Uh, clamoring to get these notes here, but also uh, people in the uh, Asian cultures also. So there's, there's a much higher demand for these. Now, take a look at this note. Look at the condition. The corner's all folded up. On the corner right there, uh, you have that uh, crease going through over there. Big fold, kind of a wallet fold, pocket fold down the middle there. You know, it's not really in the nicest condition, okay? But because it is seven in a row, all right, uh, it did sell for $52 with 11 bids. So imagine how many people's hands this happened to go through. And this went through so many people's hands. You know, people put this into a vending machine thinking they were spending a dollar, but really they're spending 50 bucks. So um, don't be that person that does that. Uh, you'll certainly regret that. Okay, that's why I do these videos so I can educate people like yourself to know what to look for and not to spend these valuable dollar bills like this, okay? All right, now this next one here, this is a low digit serial number. Anything with four zeros and more is considered to be a low digit serial number, okay? Or a low, a low fancy serial number. So this one has five zeros, it's serial number 134. Now, something in the 900s, the 800s, 700s, uh, they don't normally sell for, uh, for as much as the, you know, the 300s, 200s, 100s, okay? Um, so this one also is quite, quite used. Nice fold down the middle. You know, it's weathered, uh, it has creases in it. So it's been through many, many, many hands of people that had no idea what they were holding, okay? Um, so this one right here, three-digit serial number uh, from 2013, this sold for about $34, okay? Um, so again, you know, you have to know what you're looking for because a lot of people obviously uh, don't know that this has a value of more than face value of a dollar. But now you know, and you'll be educated to pull this out of circulation. All right. Now, here is one of those 2013B duplicate star notes. All right. Here's what to look for. All right. You want to look for series 2013 right down here. Okay. You want to look for uh, you want to look for the B uh, up there, and it has to be a star note. Okay. Um, so that and it has to start with a zero. If it starts with a one, it does not fall within the parameters of the matching pair, the matching set. Okay, so, um, so this one here, it, it looks very crisp, but as you see, it does have some, you know, it does have some folds uh, up in the note here. All right, so this one here did manage to sell for a very nice sum of money. This $1 bill right here did sell for about 40 bucks. Now, the ones from Washington are a little more rare than the ones from Fort Worth. Now you can tell by looking at this front plate number here, if there's an FW in the front, okay, then that means that it was from the Fort Worth facility, all right? Just like this one right here. I know it's got a little bit blurry there. Well, let me try to unblur that here, okay? So you see that FW right there? That means it's from Fort Worth facility, okay? If it doesn't say FW on it, like this one here, that means it's from Washington, D.C., okay? So that's how you tell, that's how you tell where it's from, okay? So now, now we know. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next one here. This is another duplicate star note, okay, Series B. Now, this one is a little bit of a lower serial number, and that's why it's sold for more, okay? So this here... It's negative 452.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Not sure why that, that's going on. All right, so sorry about that. So this one sold for quite a bit more for $47, 20 bids, because this is a lower serial number. This is a six-digit serial number. 
Uh, so again, 2013, B block, star note, starting with zero. Um, uh, and uh, so this one sold for $47. Looks, they look to be in pretty good condition. Uh, so condition does matter on these as well, okay? But a lot of people like to look for these lower serial numbers because if they find their match, they're gonna maximize and, and, and sell probably for a lot more than the four or five thousand uh, dollars that the uh, other ones go for when you get lower serial numbers like this. All right. So keep your eyes open for these. Okay. And now this next one here. Now this is a six-digit ladder. All right. And uh, one of my pet peeves is people that put pictures here that are sideways. Make sure your pictures are are right side up. It's uh, a lot easier to look at. But this one here. Okay. This one is serial number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Very, very difficult to find. Very highly collectible by investors, especially in this nice condition. Uh, this note looks to be fairly clean, no spots, no wrinkles. Does have a crease down here, a little bit of a fold down there. You know, it's not gem mint, but it still is in very, very nice condition. Okay. Uh, so a note like this, um, you know, anything with four digits in a row, like a one, two, three, four, or four, five, six, seven, that's the starting point for collectability, okay? So when you have five numbers, you know, uh, they sell for more. Six digits like this sell for more. This one sold for $40. Looks like it was the best offer that was accepted. Uh, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They are worth more when they start from the beginning, uh, a leading, you know, leading six digits or a trailing six digits at the end. Okay, so don't miss these. You keep your eyes open for these. These are easy to miss if you're searching through dollar bills. Okay, now this one here, now this is a uh, bookend. Uh, this is a binary radar, also called a palindrome. Okay, this note here, this reads the same frontwards and backwards. 3390 and then 3390. Okay, again, very highly collectible. Okay, um, so, um, uh, this one here um, looked to be in pretty good condition, uh, not gem mint or anything, but it did look to be, you know, didn't have any major issues on it, okay? Um, uh, so, uh, so this one uh, sold for about $40, all right? Um, and uh, so now keep your eyes open for these. A lot of people on eBay, they'll put, you know, close, uh, close radar note or, you know, close palindrome. If it's, not, if it's close, it doesn't count. Okay, don't fall for that on people that sell those that are close, all right? Has to either, it is or it isn't, all right? This one obviously is, okay? Um, so now this one here, now this, a lot of people like to collect these lower serial numbers, even though they're not true binary zeros and ones. A lot of people like to collect these low serial numbers, zeros, ones, and twos, okay? So this one here, uh, these both end in 20, uh, 21, 21. They're all zeros, ones, and twos. Not in the best condition, okay? But these two, these are trinaries because they only consist of three numbers. So these two notes here in this average condition manage to sell for $15 a piece or $30 with four, almost four hours of shipping, okay? So if you get these notes, if you find these, don't put them back in circulation or spend them. People look for these on, uh, you know, on eBay and they'll buy them for 10, 12, $15 like, like this person did right here, okay? Now, here's two more of these duplicate star notes from 2013B, okay? They're both series 2013, they're both from the B block and they both have the zero, they start with zero. Not all, not all of them that start with zeros, but I, I just wanna point that out um, because if it starts with a one, it's not within that range of the uh, duplicate uh, printing of the serial numbers, okay? So, uh, so these two, if you take a look at these, there's folds left to right, you know, east to west, there's folds north to south. It's very faded. Um, these are not in the best condition, okay? But these two did manage to sell for $80. That's $40 a piece. So there's a high demand for these. You know, it seems like these prices seem to be going up. These were not selling for $40 a piece six months ago, okay? Um, you know, they were normally selling for that 15, 20, maybe $25 a piece in this condition. But now, you know, these two here sold for $40 a piece. So, um, you know, if, if you have some star notes, check to see if they're 2013, look, look to see if they're B block, and then um, look to see if, uh, if they start with a zero and you just may have one, okay? All right, now, now this here, this is seven uncirculated notes 
in, in uh, sequential order, 62, 63, 64, and so on, all the way down to 60, uh, 67. These are 1959 birthday notes. They all start with 1959, okay? Now, this is not your traditional month, day, year, or year, day, month, or year, month, day, okay? A lot of people collect these no matter what order they're in, okay? So even though there's not a June 65th or a June 66th, a lot of people like to collect their birth year no matter what the other numbers are, like this person that bought these, okay? So these seven notes, okay, in this uncirculated condition, okay, sequential, paid $99 for these seven notes. That's about $14 a piece, okay? So if you find notes that have, you know, anything from the 1950s up through, you know, like 2025, you know, uh, people, there's a market for those. People buy those on, here on eBay, all right? So don't, don't put those back in circulation. Keep that in mind, okay? A lot of people don't realize that. All right, now, I want to show you this here. Now, this is a true binary. This is not a true, this is a binary. This person put true binary. It's not a true binary. A true binary is made up of zeros and ones, okay? But this is a seven in a row ones, very highly collectible, even in this condition, Okay? So this seven in a row ones, okay, um, in this condition with a four on the end, okay, this person was asking $80 for this, all right? Now, what I want to show you is how to look to see what these sold for. There's a website. It's called 130point.com, okay? So you go to 130point.com, and the left-hand side, you click on search eBay sales, all right? And this page here comes up right here, all right? It's gonna ask you to enter the information that you wanna search for. So what I did is I just put in the serial number because it's in the listing. See it right there? It's in the listing. So I just put that here and, and, and searched for that. And when I searched for it, it came up right here. Here's the note right here, okay? And this note, in that condition, managed to sell for $70 with seven in a row ones, okay? So that's a very good sale, uh, especially in that condition by that seller, all right? Now, here's another one here, another one of those duplicate star notes, okay? Uh, 2013 B block star. This seems to be in pretty, pretty nice condition, a lot better than the other ones we saw, okay? Um, now, this one, in this condition, um, it does have, you know, a, a pretty aesthetically pleasing serial number with, you know, four threes at the end. Um, now, this is a DC, note, a little more of a rare, a rare DC note, okay? Uh, we don't know how many they printed in DC, okay? Um, I, I've, I've been hearing there's quite a bit less printed in DC than there was in Fort Worth. Um, so um, this one here with 17 bids did manage to sell for $36, okay? Now, this one over here, um, here's another one, all right? Now check this out. Now, uh, you know, this just goes to show you what these can sell for. Again, 2013 B Block Star Note, okay? Look at this condition, very weathered. Uh, it's been around for a good 10 years through so many people's hands that had this and had no idea that, that, that this is a duplicate star note, okay? So many people went through this, uh, this note, but this one sold for $60, okay? It's a DC note, all right? Uh, no FW there, and it sold for 60 bucks. That's crazy, okay? Again, you know, these are selling for a lot more money than they were just a few months ago. All right, so it looks like there's more people collecting these and a, a much more of a higher demand, okay, for these. Um, now, this one here, this is a seven in a row, fives, trailing fives. Starts with a seven and all the rest of these numbers are five. Look at that condition. How many people's hands did that go through? Did this go through yours? You don't want this to happen to you, okay? But this went through so many people's hands and got so weathered, all right? Um, in this condition, let's see what this one sold for. I went to 130point.com, and this note with all these fives in that condition managed to sell for $60, okay? okay? That probably would have sold for more if it was in nicer condition, all right? Now check this out. Here's one here. Now this is not seven in a row. This is seven of a kind fours with six in a row. Now this seller made a huge mistake, okay? In the description, they put six of a kind, Fancy serial number, okay? They didn't put near solid in there. Now, this is not six of a kind. This is actually seven of a kind, 
okay? And this one only sold for about $40. I tried to buy this one myself and I missed it by a dollar, unfortunately. But this seller, uh, you know, did manage to not put the proper, uh, uh, the proper l lingo up in the description. This should have sold for a lot more. This is in very, very nice condition, by the way, okay? Um, so this should have sold for at least 50, 60, maybe even $70. So when you're selling notes, you have to know what you have and make sure you put the right descriptors in, des in the description so the algorithm will show this to more people as they're searching, okay? Now, it only had two bids. This should have had at least 15, 20 bids if, if they would have had the right, the right uh, description in there, okay? Now, this one here, now this is a true binary. This just has zeros and ones, all right? Again, uh, pretty bad condition, pretty beat up, all right? But these are in high demand, these zeros and ones. These are called true binaries because just like the old computer code back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, when they were using zeros and ones on the computers, uh, on the computer screen for computer code, all right? Um, so this six of a kind zeros um, in this condition did manage to sell with 12 bids for $53. So if you run across these, these are in high demand no matter what the condition is, all right? Now check this out. Now this um, is a near solid. This has the right description, near solid. This is what the other no, other person should have done. Near solid, um, uh, fancy serial number um, with the um, serial number in the description, okay? Now this is also a seven in a row, all right? This seems to be in much nicer condition, okay? But this, uh, this note here by this seller had 46 bids and sold for a whopping $126, okay? Now, um, keep this in mind. As you come across these notes, make sure you're putting in here near solid, and ones do sell for quite a bit of money if, if, they're, if the description is, 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 is proper, okay? If, if you put the right description, all right? Just a few more to go here for you, all right? Thanks for, thanks for sticking in. If you're finding a value in this, go ahead and smash that like button for me, okay? So this video reaches more people. The more likes you get, the more YouTube will put this out to more people in their, uh, in their YouTube feed, okay? Appreciate that. Um, now this one here, now this is a, a radar binary. It's binary because it's threes and sevens, two numbers only, and it's radar because it reads the same frontwards and backwards. Now this is really very aesthetically pleasing to the eye, okay? It reads the same in both directions. 3373 three, and then 3373. Three, now, this has two threes, then a seven, then two threes, then a seven, and then two threes. So the, the threes are very spaced out. It's very centered, uh, it's very balanced, and very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And it's in very nice condition as well, okay? Now this note uh, only had one bid, uh, and it, it was $35 for this note, all right? Now, um, uh, so uh, I thought this would sell for a lot more, but in this condition, uh, it, it only sold for $35. Uh, probably should have sold for more, but hey, we'll, we'll take it. All right, now this one here, now this is what I was saying earlier. The eights are in high demand by, by the um, Asian and Japanese cultures. Uh, they love the number eights um, in their culture, okay? So this note in this beat-up condition has seven of a kind eights. It's a near solid, okay? Um, th uh, this person uh, didn't put near solid up here. They probably should have um, to attract more attention. Um, but in this condition, with 31 bids, it sold for $103.50, okay? Um, so, so everybody, uh, you know, there's a lot of notes out there. There's a lot of notes that people are finding. There's a lot of value. Uh, this is a fast-growing niche in the currency, uh, currency market. So if you're not participating in these, I want to encourage you, you know, uh, watch my other videos. You'll see a lot more notes, what they look like, what they sell for, how to find them. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I want to encourage you to do that so you'll be notified when I have new videos just like this. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. We'll see you all real soon.